In the meantime, changing gears, new email revealing that Hunter Biden's former business partner, Devin Archer, met with then Secretary of State John Kerry back in 2016. Their alleged meeting came just weeks before Ukraine's top prosecutor, Viktor Shokin, was investigating Bur uh, Burisma when he was fired. The redacted email shows Archer planned to meet with, quote, S, that's the redacted part, which Fox News Digital confirms refers to Kerry on March 2nd of 2016. This comes as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says Republicans are inching closer toward articles of impeachment for President Biden. All right, so Victor Shokin sounded off on One Nation White show over the weekend about Burisma's alleged corruption. He wanted to give his side of the story for the first time and using the Bidens as, quote, protection. Listen. I have no doubt that there were illegal activities engaged in by uh, Burisma. As a matter of fact, the criminal case had been started before me. The founder and CEO of uh, Burisma started bringing in people who could provide protection for him. Hunter Biden was uh, among them. And the corruption network expanded as a result. So, by the way, he did say, I uh, was reminded, uh, by Crystal, who, who edited the piece, he did say he's more than happy to come and testify in front of Congress. So Congress yeah. just has to ask. Right. So the, uh, Mike John says, yeah, we're, we're going to uh, do that. But uh, Victor Shogun came out and said, listen, I, I want to display a few things, uh, dispel a few things. Number one, I was looking at Burisma. There's no doubt about it. Number two, uh, pe uh, pre President Poroshenko did not want to fire me. He was basically pushing to be firing him. And now everybody knows, because Joe Biden, in my view, foolishly bragged about it, at the Council of Foreign Relations, at the very least, even if it was 100 percent true, why would you rub a country's face in it that you decided who would serve and who else would serve? For example, what if another country came over here and said, I want you to fire your attorney general? How would we feel about that? Well, they had no choice. Shokin went on to say it humiliated the whole country, made it so obvious that we're a vassal of America. What was interesting is uh, he said he was poisoned twice with mercury, and mercury. you got the medical reports that actually confirmed that. Um, he said, no doubt, there were illegal activities happening, and he said Joe and Hunter accepted bribes. Bribes. He used that a little later in the interview. He said Joe was VP, and he ultimately hurt America's reputation and created a, a groundwork for Russia to invade Ukraine. And then later, you know, Biden admitted all of this. He said, remember, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. And he said, well, you know, he used SOB. Uh, he got fired. That's what he said on camera. He bragged about it. And Hunter on camera, excuse me, not Hunter, Devin Archer on camera said Shokin was the problem. He was a threat to Burisma. So that dispels another thought that we wanted someone in there to investigate, and they didn't. It was he was getting close, and that's where he was ousted. And is that why Devin Archer met with the Secretary of State John Kerry weeks before Shokin was fired? And you got to figure, too, that, that John Kerry's son was also for a while, part of that, those, right. that trio. Yeah, they started Seneca. And then he, the, he stepped aside. They right. started Rosemont Seneca together. It, it's, uh, according to the Fox News uh, digital story about this, uh, regarding John Kerry meeting with uh, Devin Archer, it's unclear what they talked about, and it's unclear if Burisma ever came up. But nonetheless, those are things that the House Republicans are pushing toward an impeachment inquiry. Uh, some House Republicans <clears throat> have wanted to impeach this president since day one. Mike Johnson sat down with Brian a little while ago and talked a little bit about how what this guy from Ukraine is saying that many Americans are now wondering about our president. Just think of it, the simplicity of it. Here's the summary. The president bribed uh, or, or uh, pressured a foreign leader to fire that country's top prosecutor because the prosecutor was investigating his son. And he used a billion dollars of U.S. taxpayer money to have that bidding done. And then he bragged about it on video. I can't understand why every news outlet is not covering this as the first story this morning and throughout this process. We, This is, uh, Mr. Chokin, of course, is an important voice in this because he was directly involved. He was the target of the, of the president. And the idea that he believes there was bribery confirms what many of us are already thinking. So the drumbeat for impeachment getting louder. I saw that uh, Donald Trump, former President Trump, uh, took to Truth Social to uh, essentially take that up. He said, he was talking about Congress, he said, these low lowlifes impeach me twice, I won, and indicted me four times for nothing. Either impeach the bomb or fade into oblivion. They did this to us.
Uh, there was one other note I just saw on uh, one of the TV blogs, uh, Mediate, where it talks a little bit about after, speaking of the presidential uh, level, after the presidential debate on Fox, mm -hmm. uh, Emerson has done a new poll. Uh, former President Trump was at 56 percent. He has now apparently lost uh, a little altitude. He's down to 50. Ron DeSantis is at 12. He had been 10. Mike Pence went from 3 to 7. Nikki Haley went from 2 to 7. Chris Christie went from 3 to 5. And Vivek Ramshwamy went down from 10 to 9. And you see, I saw a poll almost 70 percent of Democrats do not want Joe Biden to run again. See, he's too old. Right. But I broke on and says, just let Joe be Joe and let him loose. All right, and let start doing some interviews and let him go. See how that goes. Right. If so far, he's struggling to know how to leave the stage, let alone how to go through 50 states and sell his cause. And if you don't like the economy, he will yell at you. So I don't know if that is going to lift up his approval. Well, people are going to the poll. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.